morning I woke up and I thought, I want to do a Harry Potter confessions video. So here we are. First, if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Denise. I love Harry Potter and Disney and so many more things. And if you want to join the fam, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already part of the family, hi, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Now let's get into the video. I don't have my original Harry Potter books anymore. I lost them when we were moving. And I'm sure they're still in the old house somewhere. And that really stinks because they were like falling apart. So it's really cool to look back on that. But I had to buy new books. I just wish I still had the old ones. I have never been to either the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London or the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in either one of the Universal Studios. I know I'm like such a fake fan, but I can't help it. It's all very far away and very expensive for me. And yeah, dreams will be dreams. I did not see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them on the big screen. The first time I watched it was with my friend Luke in his room in France, when we were still living in France, and we watched it on a tiny laptop screen, and we just had a very long and tiring day at work, and I fell asleep. <laughs> I've never tried Butterbeer or any of the wizarding sweets, including chocolate frogs, and I am such a chocolate lover. That's just all I want in life, just to try a chocolate frog and a butterbeer. I used to think I was a Gryffindor, just because I thought that was cool. And then the first time I took the Pottermore quiz, I may or may not have kind of bent my answers to get Gryffindor. <laughs> but then when I genuinely answered all the questions, I got Ravenclaw and it, it all made sense to me. I cried when I first read that Hedwig died. I'm not kidding, I cried. It's not even that big of a moment in the book. It just happened so quickly, but that hurt me. That hurt my soul. I love birds. I might prefer Fantastic Beasts over Harry Potter. Just a little. It's just... Newt Scamander, man. First time I read about the Inferi in the Half-Blood Prince, I got so scared I had to put away the book, go downstairs and see my mom. <laughs> In my defense, I was sick in bed at that time and I was weak. I used to laugh out loud at the parts where um, just after Cho and Harry first kissed and Ron was making fun of them and I would just, I would be Ron in that situation. I was laughing my butt off. <laughs> I don't even know why because it's not even funny. Unpopular opinion. The first two books are my least favorite. I briefly considered auditioning for the Wizarding World in Universal Studios Japan. Usually I think Ravenclaw merchandise is not pretty at all. Because of the dark colors and because of the, um, the raven instead of the eagle, but mostly the colors. Dark blue is actually my least favorite color. But if it's like a bright blue, then I love it. I have certain moments in which I'm really easily affected by Dementors, and that's why Expecto Patronum is my favorite spell, because it's kind of meaningful. And the first time I saw an interview in which J.K. Rowling talked about the Dementors and how she came up with them, I actually cried because something inside of me cracked, and I was like, Yes, Joe. I'm not a big fan of Tina Goldstein. In fact, she really annoys me in the first Fantastic Beasts film. And I know she's a fan favorite, so I'm sorry. It's just, I don't really like her. It's because of her that Newt got sentenced to death and his creatures were confiscated. And only after his swooping evil thingy saved her, she's like, oh, I love it. And I'm like, yeah, now you do, don't you? When I was a kid, I used to have this magic tricks box and it came with a wand. A typical black stick with the white ends. And <laughs> I used to pretend that that was my Hogwarts wand. Thank goodness for the Noble Collection. Hufflepuff is my favorite house. I'm a proud Ravenclaw, but I just have a soft spot for Hufflepuff. Growing up, pastel yellow was my favorite color and I had a pastel yellow room. The Goblet of Fire is my favorite film because of the Yule Ball. And honestly, I love Fleur Delacour's bratty personality in the books. <laughs> She's such a mood. I still have trouble watching the Forbidden Forest scene in Chamber of Secrets because I get so anxious when I look at spiders. On the contrary, I've always been obsessed with snakes and other kind of reptiles, so I've always loved Nagini. And I loved her in Crimes of Grindelwald and I cannot wait to see more of her and her story and her character development and just everything about her. I've genuinely tried to use Wingardium Liviosa on Boo to make him fly again. It didn't work. 
So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your biggest Harry Potter confession is. And I hope to see you again for the next video. Bye! Let me kiss you.